one more? I guess I do. So, big favor. Can you take me to the top of Vinewood Hills by the sign? Thanks, this is so sweet of you. I was starting to think no one was going to stop. Short dress, boobs, vulnerable but playful demeanor. What more does a girl have to do these days? You cast out this kind of bait, you'd expect at least a couple of old sharks to come sniffing. But along you came. Thank God. I ain't too sure how to take that right there. Just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years? Joke. Kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been partying like a biatch. Yesterday was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Okay, and uh, what's on top of Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise the big luck. We haven't seen each other for like a week. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. Crazy how time flies. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was just talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride? No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money or I would have gotten a cab. Yes, all the thousand you gave me. What's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? My phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's at Sandy Shores. You know, Brianna or Susie? No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe. Look, would you tell him? Man, are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. You're just some random guy. Wait a minute, what? Just shout it. I'm just some random guy not called Brian, man. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe, babe. Shit, he hung up on me. Sorry about that. Man, it sounds like it could have gone a little bit better than that. He'll be fine when I surprise him. Probably just having a bad day. He can never stay mad at me for long. Opposites attract, you know. He's the serious, responsible, pay your bills, save for the future type, and I'm the sexy, bohemian, go off for days and do X in the middle of the desert type. I'm young. I'm still exploring my mind, discovering who I am. He knows I'll come back. Yeah, when you run out of money. Whoa there, random guy. Less of the judging. Wait, there's my phone again. What's up? Yeah, hitching back into town. How do you think I feel? I'm wrecked. I know, I'll have one last bag etched on my tombstone. Don't flatter yourself. I can walk just fine, thank you. You're bad. Anyway, gotta go. I'll text you later. Don't tell me. Brian, right? What? No, just one of my girlfriends. Look, I'm seriously flagging now. I'm going to rest my eyes for a few minutes if that's cool. See if I can power nap my way into a second wind. So, broadcast tower behind the Vinewood sign. I think it's Mount Hunt Drive. Just holler when we get there. You're the best. And don't touch me or anything, okay? Damn. You a piece of work, girl. Yes, and there he is. Hey, babe! Surprise! And who's this guy? What, no kiss? Hey, punk, what the hell do you think you're doing with my woman? Are you Brian? Calm down, I don't even know the guy. Stop, please! Don't do this! <clears throat> oh! Oh! Ah. <clears throat> what have you done to him, you psychopath? Yo! Good night, old friend. See you! <laughs> <laughs>